Welcome back to the Fixed Roof Coop channel, guys. It's Chris here. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. My followers have gone up like 300 and something or whatever. That's awesome. I'm trying to get the channel up there. So when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to do something special. Uh, if you haven't liked the channel yet, please do so. I, like I said, I'm trying to grow it. Some uh, thumbs up, some likes, whatever, some negative stuff. I don't care. I like it all. Inputs, input. One of the videos that I did recently, somebody had asked, new subscriber, can I do a review on my Husky 60 gallon air compressor? It's one of the ones you get from Home Depot. So today, we're gonna do that while I'm waiting for some other things and parts and whatnot to come in for the Corvette. I'm also waiting for my toolbox to come in from Harbor Freight, which I will shoot a video to do a unboxing and first impressions on that, which I'm very excited for. Uh, so let's get to the compressor. This is a 60 gallon electric air compressor by Husky, assembled in the USA with, of course, global components. But it's a 60 gallon tank at 40 PSI, it's got 13.4 SCFMs at 90, it's got 11 and a half. Max PSI is 155 and has a 3.7 horsepower electric motor. Cast iron pump, air fins, air cooled, it's got the belt and the fan in the back, electric motor here. I have not overheated this yet and I have run it continuously quite a bit and I have zero issues with it and it does get pretty hot and humid here in, in Massachusetts. It's got your blow off switch, I'm sorry, your blow off valve here for excess pressure. It's got an auto setting and off to turn it off. It's hardwired in at 230 volts. You've got a gauge here that reads what the pressure is and it has another access port here that is cut, does come plugged off. Um, obviously has instructions here to use synthetic blend, non-detergent air compressor oil. I haven't changed it yet. It has an indicator there that shows the oil and it's still pretty clean. So if it ain't broken, don't fix it. What I primarily use this thing for is detailing cars. When I do the Corvette, the car's black. So water marks always show up very easily on it. So I use it to the air gun attachment to blow out around lights, tail lights, any body moldings, uh, weather stripping, stuff like that. For the interior, it's easy for, it's good for like, you know, blowing out the vent valves and around the steering wheel, like column and stuff, the shifter boot, stuff like that. Little nooks and crannies, you would need a toothpick or something. I just blow it out with the air and it works a lot better. Uh, I have impact guns, impact drivers, no issues with that. Uh, worked good with a uh, sand blaster as well as a media blaster. A friend of mine, Sarah Coates, and he came over and we did a bunch of parts for some guns that I have and for uh, some guitar parts that I had, some metal parts that I wanted redone. Uh, we blasted all that stuff, it kept up just fine. Air staplers, uh, framing nailers. I haven't used it to paint a car yet or do any painting of any uh, sort like that. The air water separator that I have on it is just a cheapo from Harbor Freight, so I wouldn't trust that. If I was to do it, I would do it with uh, a better air water separator, oil separator, all that like that. Um, I personally think it would keep up. I believe I do know one other person that does have this and has painted with it before. Uh, you might not be able to do a continuous job, but I mean, if you do take your time and go slow, I think you could be all right with an at-home paint job. Uh, it comes on a pallet, so it's easy to move. And the only problem that I've had with it was the pitcock on the bottom. Uh, it does get humid here in Mass in the summertime, so when it fills up with water and it's time, you know, to drain out the tank and whatnot, uh, the pitcock, I, I threaded it out and I ended up stripping it. It wasn't the actual tank that stripped, it was the brass fitting that went into the pitcock. Simple fix, order a new one on Home Depot's website or Amazon or eBay or whatever you got. Pull the fitting out, it's a pipe thread fitting, goes right back in the bottom of the tank. Two second job, good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's my honest review on it. I've had this thing for four years and I've used it quite a bit. And I have this many complaints about it. So do I think it's worth 499 bucks? Because I think that's what it was the last time I saw it at Home Depot. Yeah, I think it's worth 500 bucks. You want a stationary vertical air compressor? It's worth the money. Please comment, like, subscribe. If you have this compressor, let me know what you think about it. If you think it's junk, let me know. If you think it's good, let me know. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings. And like I said, uh, I'm going to get hopefully to 500 subscribers soon. And when I do that, I'm going to do something special. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.